Hello everybody and welcome to my trivia channel from here in sweltering Yorktown, Virginia. John Hamilton, I'm a writer. Articles appear in a couple of local newspapers. Newspapers, what are those? And Tom Brady, he might have seven reasons. He's the GOAT, right? He could tell me that. He's got seven rings. you got to admit, I never, I'm 58 years old, I never thought I'd see somebody live to have seven Super Bowl rings. And it is really impressive. This is just for fun. Uh, I like to debate sports. So I'm going to give you 12 reasons Tom Brady is not the GOAT. And if you disagree with me, that's okay, write it there. But, you know, you don't need to curse and everything at me. It's just for fun. So, reason number one Tom Brady is not the GOAT. He's not good under pressure. That's the most important reason. Michael Jordan, Tiger Woods, Joe Montana, you pressure them and they make you look like fools. They get better. Tom Brady is only good behind that offensive line. In fact, in 2016, a stat came out. He was the worst quarterback between completion percentage of when he wasn't pressured and when he was pressured. Pretty amazing stat, isn't it? He's even admitted he doesn't really like it. He, when he's behind that offensive line, he's a world beater. But when he gets pressured, he turns to just a so-so quarterback. And that's, that's number one. The great, the goats make you pay under pressure. Reason number two, and this is related to reason number one, Tom Brady has questionable passing form and it breaks down under pressure. And if you don't believe me, go back and watch some of the old videos of the Super Bowls where he lost. And when he does get pressured, two things happen. He either starts throwing the ball into the ground or over the receiver's heads. Down into the ground or over the receiver's heads. It happens over and over. Don't believe me, go back and watch the tapes. As Magic Johnson said about Larry Bird, he's so good, go back and watch the tapes. Reason number three that Tom Brady is not the GOAT. He's a bit of a one-trick pony. He doesn't scramble. He just does the same thing over and over. It works he, in this era with that big offensive line. But if you want to be the GOAT, you got to be Joe Namath scrambling before his knees. Joe Namath was an amazing scrambler, by the way. If you don't believe me, check out the uh, video on YouTube of him scrambling in Alabama. Patrick Mahomes, Joe Montana, incredible scramblers. Tom's a bit of a one-trick pony in that aspect. So if you want to be the GOAT, I think you have to be the complete Packers. Randall Cunningham was another great scrambler. He didn't really get the big wins, but... Okay, reason number four. Oh, I had these all memorized. See, this is what happens when you become 58 years old. I thought I had a memory. He plays, Tom Brady plays in a watered-down era. There's, what are there, 700 teams now in the NFL? No, it's like 30. And Joe Namath's day was half, about 15. And so, literally, half of the defenders that Tom Brady faces now versus Joe Namath literally would be college players in Joe Namath's era. Huh? Think about that. Reason number five, he never played against any great teams. Who'd Tom Brady beat for 20 years? It's like Roger Federer in tennis. Who'd he beat? He didn't beat anybody. Pete Sampras and Agassi played with all those great players. So it's not really his fault that he didn't play with great teams of the 70s and the 80s, but he really hasn't beat anybody. Maybe that Chiefs team will be a dynasty one day with Patrick Mahomes. We'll have to wait and see, but you know, they obviously didn't play good in the last Super Bowl. Reason number six, he's 7-3 in Super Bowls. That's only 70%. Bart Starr was 5-0 and in Super Bowls, yes. They weren't called Super Bowls the first couple ones, but he's 5-0. Joe Montana, 4-0. Terry Bradshaw, 4-0. Terry Bradshaw, not a Steelers fan, but probably the most underrated player in the four major sports leagues. Never gets the credit. But 7-3, 70%? That's barely task, uh, passing a math test, right? I mean, C, a D, an F? Come on, that's not that great. Okay, reason number seven. Rings don't mean the GOAT. Bill Russell has 11 rings. Does anybody call him the GOAT? Well... He should be in the argument, but because Bill Russell was smart and athletic, so he really should be in the argument more often. But 11 rings, he's not the GOAT, right? So, hey, Dan Marino has zero rings. You could argue he's better than Tom Brady, right? Okay. So, do rings equal the GOAT? Maybe. Of course, it, you know, John Stockton's my guy. He never got a ring. Charles Barkley. Eight, other quarterbacks are undefeated in Super Bowl games. Are okay, that ties into what I already said. Bart Starr, Joe Montana, Terry Bradshaw. Uh, and then uh, there's Jim Plunkett, 2-0, and not even in the Hall of Fame. Come on, that's just wrong. That's just wrong. Put Jim Plunkett in the Hall of Fame, please. Okay. Reason number nine, other quarterbacks have much tougher schedules. Once again, Brady didn't play anybody in. Joe Namath, he played in the 70s, the 60s, 70s. If you ever look at his schedule, it's insane. He had the Steelers, the 70s Steelers, the 70s Dolphins, the 70s Raiders. 
he played like playoff games every game. So, and Joe Namath, by the way, he was the Michael Jordan of the NFL. The best passing for him in NFL history. The best footwork in NFL history. The second fastest release to Joe, Dan Marino in NFL history. One of the smartest quarterbacks in NFL history. He doesn't get that credit. Greatest scramblers until he hurt his knees. He was the Michael Jordan, but he didn't have his, everybody goes, well, he didn't have as many touchdown passes, interceptions. Forget it. They didn't pass back then. Ask your dads. They didn't pass for touchdowns back then. You walked it in. You, know, you let the running backs take it in. So, and the, the rules were different. Gale Sayers didn't have any touchdowns. Mad Dog Curtis had 10 sacks. He's in the Hall of Fame. Different rules. Okay, reason number 10. He played with the post-1981 football. A lot of you don't know this. In 1981, all the rules changed. The Ultra Pebble football came in. Those little pebbles on it, like pixels, makes it much grippier. I played flag football at a couple colleges. That old football before 1981 was like a rugby ball. It's real slippery. Real. That's why only guys with really good... That's why you, all those old guys, Unitas, they all had such beautiful form. They had to. They had to keep the ball right here. They couldn't wave it around like the new, like Mahomes does. You know, it's fun to watch Mahomes, though, isn't it? Reason 11, the rules have been changed to increase offense. All sports have done this. TV stations figured out fans love offense. That's why the games now are 30-24. Back in the old days, it was 14-7. They did this in baseball. They did this in hockey. They did this in basketball. They did it in bowling. They did it in golf. 20 under majors? It's stupid. Okay, so it was a sellout for the fans. Fans love offense. And reason number 12, nobody really talks about this. Sportscasters overhype modern players to make money and keep their jobs and increase ratings. I'm not saying, I'm not naming any networks. I'm not naming any. But that's what they do. That's their job. They have to keep their jobs because they really aren't experts because if they were, they'd make a lot of money gambling on sports and they don't. So they have to hype everybody's the goat, everybody's the goat. And you'll find the goat changes every 10 years or every 20 years. For me, it was Larry and Magic. Now, I know, I know people now don't even know who Larry Bird is. So, uh, it used to be Joe DiMaggio and Willie Mays, you know, now people don't. So it changes. The GOAT changes every 20 years. So it'll happen to Tom Brady and Mahomes. No, 20 years from now, all the kids will disrespect them. So, but anyway, that's it. It was a lot of fun. I'm out of breath. I'm 58. I'm old. Put your comments. Like I said, please keep it civil. And uh, see you for my next trivia video. Goodbye.